tonight, may God move for your favor. I said, may God move for your favor. I said, may God move for your favor. I said, may God move for your favor. From the book of Genesis chapter 1, we understand that the God we serve is a moving God. He does not move for himself, he moves for us. He moves for our good. I'm speaking to somebody. And when I study through the scripture, I understand that he's still moving. He has not stopped moving. How do I know? The Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. In Malachi, he said, I'm the Lord your God. I do not change. That is to say, he is moving just the same way he moved in Genesis. Today, he will move for your finances. He will move for your business. He will move for your family. He will move for your favor. Let me hear them like thunder. Put your hands on the love of Jesus. I'm so excited. How is it blessing our day that the Lord has also been his present? May be satisfied with the Lord's goodness. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You will not be here today disappointed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The game of the Bible, I believe you did. Break it open to 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 22. Limbado Shagabayanti Boha. I just pray rapture did not happen this season. A rapture happens. So many persons will not make it. Oh my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Zan. 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 Hallelujah. Oh
the Lord set a bushman against the children of Amor. God began to move. Mark and Massey, which we have come against Judah, and they were smitten. Father, we thank you, Spirit of God, we ask that you do it. And let Jesus be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear that amen like thunder. Let me hear that amen like thunder. I just want to quickly chat just on the supernatural power of praise. The supernatural power of praise. I like also know that we have different kind of power. Hallelujah. The praise does not just carry power, but the supernatural kind of power, which is the power that can be accorded by the power that God has. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. One thing I'd like to establish here is that the praise is not ordinary. And it must not be taken lightly. Praise is not ordinary. If you understand what praise really is, if you have full understanding of the place we read from, my dear, you will cease to be ordinary with praise. Praise is not ordinary and must not be treated like one. Although ordinary people can do praise. I'm not talking to somebody here. You don't have to be a professor. You don't have to be a college degree order to praise God. You don't have to be president to praise God. I mean, so even though praise is not ordinary, but yet ordinary people can praise God. And that is why you and I today, we have the privilege of praising God. If we're to be president that are to praise God only, I'm sure we will not be here today. Can we give it up to Jesus? Can we celebrate Jesus? Oh my God. Can we celebrate Jesus? Give it up for Jesus. He's so wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise is extraordinary. Praise carries extraordinary power. Praise is unlimited. Praise once Take the person next to you. Say praise once. Praise once. So the after today you will see the workings of praise in your life. I'm speaking to somebody. It works. It also listen. This is Old Testament. When you move also to New Testament, you also see the workings of praise. The Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 16, the Bible says, Paul and Silas, we are they are constantly we are kept in prison. The Bible says at midnight in verse 25, they pray and praise. And the Bible says, suddenly God began to move. So praise worked. It works. I'm talking to somebody. And to then it will work for you. I said it will work for you. Let me hear a little light on. Praise is a weapon. But unfortunately, many people do not have the understanding or do not know what that it is. I'm talking to somebody. Many also they do not know how to use the weapon. I'm talking to somebody. And that's why it bleeds my heart. People, when praise is going on, people, they don't take seriously. I'm not talking to somebody here. Let me tell you something. One thing you must understand. They may pray for you, but they cannot praise for you. I'm not talking to somebody here. I'm not talking to somebody here. They may pray for you, but they don't praise for you. You have to do it to yourself. It was everyone that was involved from the place we read from. I'm not talking to somebody here. Don't watch people when they are singing or when they are dancing. Do your own. I'm not talking to somebody here. Tell the person next to you. Say you must do your own. You must do your own. So they may pray for you, but praise is you are your own. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Are you ready to praise God today? Amen. Are you sure all you are here to look? <laughs> are you here to participate or you are here to spectate? Tell the person next to you, say, I'm here to participate. Unfortunately, many people, many people do not know the power of praise. Praise carries supernatural power. Now, what is the supernatural power of praise? Number one, praise triggers the move of God. I will be sharing just that one today. Praise triggers the move of God, particularly when it when we praise it accordingly, when we praise it the way 
we should praise him. I would like us to understand this story. The Bible, you understand that whatever God has instructed us to do, there are principles that guide those things, including praise. Now, how do we praise God to trigger the move of God? Number one, we must praise with faith. We must praise with faith. Even though the people get ready to praise God, if you study or read the preceding verse of the place we read from, the Bible says in Second Chronicles 20 and 20, the word was released that believe in the Lord your God. Don't just praise with faith. As you praise, you must believe. You must praise with faith. You must praise as you're praising God. Believe that what he has promised you, he will do it. Believe that he will release that job. Believe he will cancel that and he will heal your sickness. Believe that he will deliver you. Otherwise, you will praise in vain. To praise without faith is to praise in vain. I'm not talking to somebody. The Bible says whatsoever that is done without faith is in Romans chapter 14 and verse 23. Whatever including praise, whatsoever that is done without faith. So you, as you, if you are praising God without faith, you are totally sinning without knowing. In your mind you are praising. But because you do not have faith, you are sinning. You are committing sin. He said, and he, Jesus, and he that doubted is dead if he eat because he eat not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is what? Whatsoever, including praise. So tell the person next to you, you don't commit sin tonight. Make sure you miss your praise with faith. Next, how do we praise God to trigger the move of God? Number two, you must pray and praise. The Bible says in the book of Acts, the apostle chapter 16, verse 25, give me that scripture. They pray and they praise. What happened? God began to move. I'm not talking to somebody here. As you are praising God, prayer must actually go before your praise. Because you are telling God the area to move. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. You say, Lord, I need you to bless me to resort. You're praising God. God knows where he's moving towards. You say, Lord, I need a job. I need deliverance. So, so as your praise has not begun to move, he knows where he's moving to. I'm not talking to something. So you must pray and what? Praise. Number three, you must praise wholeheartedly with the whole of your heart. Second Chronicles chapter 25 and verse 2. The Bible says, certain man did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with his whole heart. You must praise God wholeheartedly, not heartedly, not with your lips. It must come from your heart. The next is to praise with a pure heart. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 100 and verse 4, give me that scripture. It says, enter into his day with thanksgiving and is caught with praise. So praise gives you access to the presence of God. Now who are those people that should stand in the presence of God? Psalm, Psalm chapter 24. If you read Psalm chapter 24 from verses 3 and 4, the Bible says, who shall ascend into the holy hymns of God? Who shall stand in his presence? He says, he that has clean hand, he that has pure heart. I'm not talking to somebody. So even though praise gives you access to God's presence if you do not praise with a pure heart and your praise will not be effective so you must praise with a pure heart the next let me round up let me tell you the next is you must praise or you must be born again you must be born again it all begins from there to see move of God, including the move of God, truth, praise, you have to be born again. The Bible says in John chapter 3, if you read from verses 1, verses 2, the Bible says a certain man came to Jesus by night and he said to Jesus, there's no one that can do this miracle. No one can experience this move of God except God is with him. And the Bible says from verse 3, Jesus now began to explain what you need to have in order to experience or to have this move of God. He said, you've got to be born again. You must be born. It is a must. I'm not talking to somebody. Ask the 
that's in next to you. By the way, are you born again? Are you born again? Now, what happens when God is when God moves or when God is moved to our praise? Number one, we experience the miracle of intervention. I pray today, may God intervene in your life. Number two is a miracle of deliverance. Number three is a miracle of favor or transfer of the wealth of the enemies. Number four is a miracle of increase. The Bible says in Psalm 67, from verse 5 and 6, let the earth praise the Lord. Let the people praise the Lord and the earth will yield her increase. Praise brings increase. Today, God is moving you from not enough into more than enough. The Lord shall give you increase in your finances, in your businesses as you praise God today. Let me hear and name like thunder. Stand to your feet, everyone, and begin to appreciate God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. I appreciate God for His word. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for your word.